Hello friends, welcome to Spectrum Academy. Let's discuss Simpson's 3 by 8th rule. The first thing, remember this particular formula. Let's understand what this formula is saying. Integral a to b y dx, it is equal to 3h upon 8. y0 plus yn, these are extreme ordinates, plus 2 times y3 plus y6 plus y9. Here we are going to write only those ordinates which are multiple of 3. We are going to write only those ordinates which are multiple of 3. y3, y6, y9, y12 and so on. Plus 3 times whatever is the remaining ordinates. So formula is 3h upon 8 sum of extreme ordinates plus 2 times ordinates which are multiple of 3 plus 3 times remaining all ordinates. Where this h is b minus a upon n, here n must be multiple of 3. The number of subintervals can be either 3 or 6 or 9 or 12. Generally in problems we take 6 is a reasonable estimate. Let's take one example integral 0 to 6 dx upon 1 plus x square. So, here I am taking n equal to 6. Sometimes in problems, they don't give this n. So, n you have to take which should be multiple of 3. So, generally we settle for n equal to 6, which gives us reasonable estimate, quite uh, nearby answer. So, h will be b minus a, that is 6 minus 0 divided by n which we have taken as 6 so h value is 1 so the total interval here is 0 to 6 and width of each interval is 1 and we have to divide into 6 equal parts so it will be 0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 and so on so x values are 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 Corresponding to each value of x, we evaluate y. That is 1 by 1 plus x square. So if x is 0, we get y. x is 1, we get y. And so on. Complete this table. Now, these two values are the extreme ordinates. And y3 is the only ordinate which is multiple of 3. And these are considered as remaining ordinates. So let us put in the formula 3 into h upon 8, h value is 1. Sum of extreme ordinates that is 1 and 0 0.27 plus 2 times ordinates which are multiple of 3. There is only one ordinate which is multiple of 3 by 3. So it is 0 0.1 plus 3 times remaining all the ordinates. This plus this, plus this, plus this. So three times remaining all the ordinates. We calculate using calculator, we get this answer. And this is, remember my dear friend, is approximate answer. Now in exams, sometimes what they do is, they ask us to evaluate the integral using the rule, Simpson's three by eight rule. And they ask us to check the error because this is approximate answer. So what is the error? To find out error, we calculate the given integral using the process of integration. For example, here 0 to 6 1 upon 1 plus x square will be tan inverse x from 0 to 6. We put the upper limit and we get tan inverse 6 minus we put the lower limit we get tan inverse 0. Now tan inverse 0 is 0 and tan inverse 6 is 1.4056. So, this is our exact value and this is our approximate value. So error going to be exact value minus the approximate value. So this is the error 0 0.0485. Now, I hope this rule is clear. Let us talk about slight modification in exams. Sometimes in exam, they might give you this table directly. So your job becomes easy in fact. If they give you this table, job becomes easy. But when you look at this table in exam, you feel okay, something difficult is given. 
try to understand when they give this table your job is easy just you have to identify these values and substitute in the formula hope simpson's 3 by 8 rule is clear for more such videos subscribe to this channel wish you all the best thank you bye bye